Okay, part two, but I will link all these videos together in one big video as well. But I think it's actually easier to do this in separate portions because it's quite overwhel overwhelming. Anyway, SDR Play, let's download the software. So just go to this link, link in description, go to software downloads, and on the right hand side here, you've got click link. Now I actually recommend you buy one of these products. You can either get the SDR Uno One, it'll come up now. which is, you know, it's very good, has all the functionality of the other ones, um, but it's the, it's not the DX model, it's not the duo, duo model. DX is, has enhancements to do with DX, and duo can actually receive, run two versions of the software at the same time, yeah, which is pretty good, and on different bands, so that's the one I've got. Um, so the first one's about £100, second one's about 200 and the, the super one is 250 which is the one I recommend. So get yourself that. Anyway, go to downloads. Now you can use other SDR dongles as well. You don't have to use that. So software downloads. Click I go to, if you've just purchased an item, go to the start here and follow the prompts because that's the best way you can register and you get your backup and it's really good that way. Otherwise, if you just want to download the software, click here and click the Windows. For me, it's Windows at the top. They've got with downloads for Windows, Linux, at Linux and Macs. But for me, it's just Windows. So you just go click that. And then just follow the prompts. Go to the bottom. You can download separate sections here, the plugins separately, or just do the whole lot. Download SDR Uno, and it, add, it will load everything for you from this link here. And once you've clicked it, just go next, 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 and just download everything, okay? Just remember where you put where you put it. Yeah, that's the main thing is remember which file you've put it so you can find it. Anyway, uh, then go to this other link called VB Audio Virtual Apps and download this as well. Download the, you know, the software that's suitable for your computer. I just clicked the top one here and then I just ran it. Double clicked here. See the 64XE, you've got a couple of options. I just rang the bottom one and eventually we had this and it just appears and it just runs in the background. It's virtual audio cable, VB. So click that and run it as well. Just leave it running in the background. So that's part two.